welcome to this first ever Quill On session by Imagimic. I'm Aisha. And I'm Wilbon. We are going to give you a quick glimpse into the world of paper quilling. Paper quilling is actually an age old craft form, but it's so popular even today because you can use it to make literally anything that you can imagine. See, basically, what you need to do is coil a strip of paper, make it into a roll, and then make a few shapes out of it, and then use these interesting shapes in tons and tons of different ways. In today's session, we will teach you how to make 10 basic shapes, show you ways in which you can use these cool shapes, and leave you with some fun projects that you can try out all by yourself. To get started, here's what you'll need. Some quilling strips, a quilling tool, glue, a little plate or palette to take out the glue, and a few toothpicks to use to apply the glue. Alright, let's get started. The tight coil. To make this, insert one end of the strip into the slot tool. Hold the strip with one hand. With the other hand, rotate the tool to make the coil. When you reach the end of the strip, take a little glue using the toothpick and glue the end of the strip. Now you remove the coil from the tool. You can use the tight coil in lots of cool ways such as the bright shiny sun or use it to make the center of a flower or you can use it in cool borders too. The loose coil. Coil the strip of paper but don't glue it immediately. Remove it from the tool and let it expand. Once you're happy with the size, neatly glue it shut. How about the head of a little ducky? Or the wheels of a zooming car? Wait now, did that car reach a red signal? <laughs> the loose coil is also the starting point for some other cool shapes. Let's check them out. The drop shape. Start with the loose coil. Hold it between your thumb and four fingers. Now, gently pinch it at one end and voila, your drop shape is ready. Let's use this one to give that ducky a body. Or to make a fish. Or even the petals of a flower. Can you think of more cool ways to use this shape? Feel free to pause and get creative. The eye shape. Remember how to make the drop shape? Now pinch it at the opposite end too to get the eye shape. Let's use this to kill the flowers and leaves. Or if it's lonely, let's make a butterfly to keep it company. On a different note, how about rugby ball? The slug shape. So this is kind of like the eye shape but with a little twist. Like this. As the name suggests, how about a snail? Or it could be used to make waves too. And now here's a funny one. Some mustachios. The square or the diamond shape. Once again, we start with the eye shape. Now let's print the opposite ends too to get four corners to make it a diamond. Turn it around and it's a square. We could use this to make stars in a night sky. Or put it on top of a magic wand. Or how about a choo-choo train? The triangle shape. This time, let's go back to the drop shape. Once you have it, use the finger of the opposite end to make a triangle. Just give it a pull and you have a flag. Or use it in a boat. Or even a Yummy slice of pizza. The loose scroll. Not all quilling shapes are based on the loose coil. How about we take a few turns to start coiling the strip and then remove it before we're finished? This is the loose scroll. It can be used to underline things or to build an ancient Roman temple pillar or even a zooming car. The V scroll. Start by folding the strip in half. Now make a loose scroll at one end and then at the other. 
There. You can use this shape to make the antenna of any insect or birds in the sky. The S scroll. This is very much like the B scroll, except that both the scrolls are in the opposite direction, like this. Use this to make the base of a flower or some really cool borders. Congratulations! You have just learned 10 shapes of paper quilling. A quick recap to remember them all. Let's start. The tight coil, the loose coil. Drop shape, the eye shape. The slug shape, the square or diamond shape. Triangle shape, the loose scroll, the V scroll and the S scroll. You could even use these shapes to write something cool like your name. Can you imagine that? Now remember. The two main things that you need to do to make awesome paper quilling projects are number one, use your wonderful imagination and number two, lots and lots of practice. Want some more inspiration? Just search for paper quilling on the internet and you'll find lots of cool stuff like 